Hey guys, it's Simon here from OneTechStop.net and in this video we will have a look at the latest build of Windows 10 build 4986 uh, Microsoft has released this build yesterday for Windows Insiders on the fast ring the build is available for PCs and tablets and this build once again brings a few new features and improvements so let's dive in and have a look at this build of Windows 10. Hey guys, so uh, we will have a look at build 4986 from Windows 10. First of all, we will have a look at Windows Defender, uh, which has been, which is a new app in this Built of Windows 10, you can either find it by search it in Cortana by typing Windows Defender and you can see here Trusted Windows Store app and Desktop app. The Trusted Windows Store app is of course the new Windows Defender app and you can also find it in the start menu. Windows Defender is making some improvements, yeah. Uh, this is the new Windows Defender app. It's not fully working yet if you try to change any settings or something. Um, it won't be possible yet since it's just basically just the UI um, which has been brought to with this build yet. You can do a scan already but you can't change any settings and they are not up to date so if you have set, changed any settings in the desktop app of Windows Defender they won't be updated here. Basically you get a home screen with four, uh, three menus. You can access them by clicking on one of these or here on the hamburger menu on the left side. Um, you, there are also these settings but they are not working yet. So it's just a basic app for now. It's looking pretty nice. You can see what Microsoft will um, bring for Windows Defender or what they are thinking of but it's not yet fully working. Um, next off we will have a look at Cortana in idle. If your PC is in idle, you don't use it. Um, Microsoft has implemented a nice new full screen UI for Cortana. So if you say, hey Cortana, exit. Exit is a noun meaning a way out, especially of a public building, room, or passenger vehicle. You will get now a full screen UI for Cortana, which is looking pretty nice. Hey Cortana, what's the weather tomorrow? The forecast for tomorrow shows partly sunny skies with a high of 9 and a low of 6. Okay, so this is uh, Cortana in full screen mode. Um, she's also got a few new things what you can ask her to do. For example, you can now lock your PC and uh, shut it down, bring it into sleep mode or restart it by asking Cortana to do that for you. Hey Cortana, lock my PC. Locking your computer. So it's locked now. Um, you can ask her to lock you in, but unfortunately it's not possible yet. Hey Cortana, lock me in. Sorry, I can't do this for you right now. Check back again after future updates. So she can't lock you in yet if you don't have Windows Hello or anything. Um, you have to type in your PIN man manually or your password. Um, but there's uh, there are a few other things about from full screen mode. Hey Cortana, play like toy soldiers in groove music. Playing like toy soldiers by Eminem. Hey Cortana, pause music. So Cortana can now um, play some music. Not all apps are supported yet. Um, there is TuneIn Radio, uh, iHeart Radio supported, Groove Music as you can see. But if you uh, want to try Windows Media Player for example, it's not working. Um, Microsoft will probably not add support for Windows Media Player app since Groove Music 
should be the new media player ones. Um, that's a bit sad, but it's working pretty nice in Grief Music. Uh, you can also ask her to resume music. Hey Cortana, resume music. Hey Cortana. Hey Cortana. Pause music. Hey there, my friend. Pause music. So you just have to make sure that your music isn't too loud, that she can still understand you and fulfill your things you want to, her to do. Um, next off. You can also ask her what's playing right now, so we will try this. Uh, hey Cortana, hey Cortana, play music. Sorry, I can't seem to find any music locally or in your collection. Hey Cortana, resume music. Hey Cortana, what's playing? That's like Toy Soldiers by Eminem. Hey Cortana, pause music. So that's pretty nice. You can actually uh, control your music via Cortana if you're not at your PC. Um, you can even lower and uh, higher or rise your system volume. So that's pretty nice. Um, next off, we will have a look at the Windows Inc. here, there have been added a few new things um, in the screen sketch, for example, uh, where your current screens are saved. You can add, a, you can go to a, res to a previous sketch. Um, according, according to Microsoft, this was a asked feature in the Windows Feedback Hub, so they have added this. Um, it's pretty nice to have it. Next off, we will have a look at the extensions for Microsoft Edge. There have been added three new extensions. Um, first of all, we have Ebates Cashback, which is an app um, which lets you buy things in online stores and you will al always get uh, cashback from all your purchases and all, every three months you can get a payout so that you um, yeah just it helps saving money um, if you're buying a lot of things online next off we have true true key which is by mcafee and intel um, that's a pretty nice uh, extensions extension you will won't be able to find it in the App Store yet. If you go to get extensions from the store, um, you won't see it here yet because it's still in beta, I guess. Um, e Ebates Cashback is here already. Uh, read and Write, however, the third extension isn't here as well. Read and Write is a pretty nice extension um, which you might like to try someday. Uh, we will have a, but we have a, we will have a look, uh, closer look at TrueKey. Um, with TrueKey, you can either manually add logins or just by browsing the web. Um, the app will automatically add logins here for every website where you are logging in. It will save the username and password so that it locks you in automatically. We will add one manually now. Um, we'll call it Bandcamp. A website is www.bandcamp.com/slash login. My username is my email address, and my password. I won't tell you that. So we get, go to save. And now we can exit the true key website or settings page and go to bandcamp.com. Ah, oh, sorry for that. So now we go to logout. 
and I want to log in again. Now you can see bandcap.com login and True Key app has logged you in automatically. So that's pretty nice to have this extension here. Um, it's very helpful, however, in free mode, uh, you will be able to have only 15 logins, which you can save. Uh, you can, of course, buy a premium version, um, which doesn't cost too much. But yeah, I don't know if it's if you if 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 you really need something like that, but that might be um, different from user to user. So next off, we have one nice improvement in the reg registry editor. If you go to reg edit, you can now use the controls which you have used which you are used to from File Explorer. If you press Alt and arrow up you can go up if you um, press alt arrow left you can go to left with the right you get to the right and down you go to town that's pretty nice um, cool that I have implemented that it makes navigating through the registry editor a lot easier uh, if you get updates now um, it might have happened to you that when an update was ready to install, um, your PC suddenly restarted um, if you came back just after 10 minutes or so and your PC was in idle for a few minutes. Now Windows Update will ask you to restart, either restart now, um, schedule a restart time or to remind you later. So that's, that's pretty cool, um, it, it won't simply restart without your permission anymore so that's pretty nice um, and a few small things which have been added to edit um, in the taskbar you have now the taskbar settings here marked as taskbar settings and you the, the touch badge show touch pad button option has been removed on desktop PCs um, it's, it's still here on tablets like the surface for example but on desktop PCs, you won't have this option anymore with the latest build of Windows 10. So that's it actually. Um, that's a first look at the latest build of Windows 10. Um, yeah, it's, it's going in the right direction. The creators update is in the works. First features for this update have been implemented in this build and we are thrilled to see what Microsoft will come up, up, up with in the future months and weeks. So stay tuned, um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and have a look at the, our website, onetechstop.net. Thanks for watching.